there's always this debate between OT and IT, but fundamentally the conversation we're having today is on the OT side. So this is the controls network side. This will ultimately get to servers and what you typically see in IT, but we're not going to spend a lot of time there. So I want to go back to the basics. So we have a PLC, which is now connected at a most fundamental level to an HMI. So here I'm going to draw an HMI. And what you see now is a need, like I said, to connect to other peripherals. So this can be achieved in a couple of different ways. So a lot of times you will see a central switch to which your devices are going to connect. So here you have IO here on the bottom, and this is going to have another port that goes to IO. Again, I'm assuming an Ethernet IP based network. Of course, if it's Data Highway Plus, Control Net and Device Net, those schemes are going to be different. But ultimately, this is one of the simplest interfaces that you can have for your network. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time drawing out the ports, but it's a multi-port switch that allows you to connect multiple devices. The other scheme that you'll very often see, because of the fact that PLCs are going to be brought in with machine equipment, is that PLCs will have dedicated Ethernet cards. So here you can have a separate card. And again, I can give you examples and part numbers on a lot of different lines, but they will have a separate side which can either go to a switch and then accommodate IO devices, it can accommodate drives, VFDs or servos, but it's going to be a segmented network from your from your other devices. So I want to explain the two schemes in a little bit more of a detail. So when you have a standalone machine, right? So let's assume that this PLC is going to come in a standalone machine and I'm going to actually erase this HMI for now all of the devices within that machine are going to be on a specific network. 